Welcome. Let us see a design problem on silos. Let me read the question. A cylindrical silo has an internal diameter of 6 meter and 20 meter deep cylindrical portion with a conical hopper bottom. The material stored in uh, stored is wheat with a density of 8 kN per meter cube. The coefficient of friction between the wall and material is 0 0.444 and the ratio of horizontal to vertical pressure intensity is 0.4. Angle of repose is 25 degrees. Design the reinforcement in silo walls. Adopt M25, uh, sorry, M15 grade concrete and ribbed tor steel. Adopt Janssen theory for pressure calculations. This is the question. So in step one, you have to write the given data. From the question, the diameter of the silo is 6 meter. Di depth of the cylindrical portion is 20 meter. Density of the wheat material is gamma is equal to 8 kN per meter cube, coefficient of friction between the wall and material is 0.444. Angle of repose is, five, is 25 degrees. A ratio of horizontal to vertical pressure is n point, uh, 0.4. If it is not given, we have to use the formula 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi. Step 2 is to write the allowable stresses according to the grade of steel and concrete. From IS456, you have to write. You know how to take these values. Step 3, dimensions of the bunker. We have to write the dimensions of the bunker. That is the diameter of the bunker. D is 6 meter. Height of the cylindrical portion as they have given you. 20 meter. Depth of the hopper bottom we are assuming it as 2.5 meter. Diameter of the hopper opening. That is 1 meter. We are taking. These two are assumed. Step 4 is design of cylindrical wall. So first Janssen theory we are using. The formula is this. After uh, So all the parameters are we have. Gamma as 18 8 kN per meter cube that is density of wheat r is a hydraulic mean radius d, capital d by 4 that is diameter of silo by 4 1.5 meter mu is a, as as they have given you 0.444 n is 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi so you, you have to use this formula if it is not given but if it is given in the problem directly 0 0.40 h is the 20 meter Substitute now all the values in this formula. So after substituting, we will get pH is 27.03. But according to the pressure table, for 20 meter height, the cylindrical portion, um, refer the guidelines. I have given you a table in that, uh, that distribution is at 20 meter, 24.58. As this is more than this, let us take this pressure intensity only. That is 24.58 according to the table. Now we have to consider the pH value from the table only. Hoop tension in the cylindrical wall per meter height. FHT is PHD by 2. So if you, uh, PH is just, we have seen, uh, taken the value 24.58 into 6. Diameter of the silo. That's all. You will get hoop tension. So now according to the uh, hoop tension, find out the area of hoop reinforcement. That is this. These are the rings. This hoop reinforcement is 8 mm diameter hoops at 140 mm center to center rings. Now tens, find out the tensile stresses in concrete. FHT by AC plus MAST. M is a modular ratio that is 280 by 3 sigma CBC. Sigma CBC from take, uh, from IS456. I have given you the constant. See the guidelines. See that. FHT is the hoop tension we have calculated. AC is the area of concrete T into B. Assume the thickness of cylindrical wall. 100 to 250 mm we can assume. So here I am taking 150 mm. That's all. So substitute all the values, you will get this. T to B, B here, 1 meter I am considering. Substitute all the values, you will get this. This is less than 2 Newton per mm, which is within the permissible limits. That's good. Now provide the reinforcement of distribution steel, which is vertical. ASTDS is 0.12% of the cross-sectional area. So that is, you will get 180 mm square. Now adopt 8 mm diameter bars towards the top of the silo. Vertical. In vertical manner, you have to provide. Step 5 is design of the hopper bottom. Find out the surcharge load as I have given you uh, the formula in guidelines. Gamma H minus 4 times pH into mu dash by D. Here pH we got the value. Gamma is 8 kN per meter cube. That is the density of weight. H is 20 meter. Mu is a 0.444. D is a 6 meter. Substitute all the values in the above equation. You will get this. Now find out the weight of the sloping bottom. This is the formula find it out it is this is always uh, very easy to find out in bunkers or silos the same uh, we have to use the pythagoras theorem in order to find it out after that 
substitute all the, all the, uh, all our known parameters hs you can find it out from, from pythagoras theorem uh, and uh, d plus d by 2 this is the diameter of the silo d is the diameter of the hopper by 2 plus hs height of the sloping slab substitute all the values here you will get as 72 kilo newton now find out the total load so first is the weight of sloping bottom we have found out and uh, another one surcharge load on the hopper bottom this is the material plus self weight the total weight is 225 kilo newton tension in the sloping slab now we have to find out that is t is w by pi into mean diameter cosecant into cosecant theta it is similar to the that of bunkers substitute all the values all are known parameters w is the weight just now we have calculated and remaining parameters you know that t is after substituting the values t is 30 kilo newton now find out the reinforcement for this direct tension that is t by sigma st find it out now use uh, 8 mm diameter bars 200 mm center to center in the direction of sloping slab like this now surcharge load on the hopper bottom is per meter run it is given by this formula ps by pi d square so this is the formula after this you will get this value 1.35 kilo newton per meter square next step is to find out the normal pressure first is normal pressure due uh, intensity uh, due to the weight of the material it is due to the weight self weight of the sloping slab let us see the formula for normal pressure intensity is 1.35 cos square theta plus ph sin square theta ph we know that very well and see here ph we have taken 25.13 this is also from table so here at the height according to the height we are calculating pressure intensity right so here uh, a cylindrical portion height plus hopper height then height is increased so, uh, similarly this also increases see the table you will understand ph is uh, 25.13 not 24.48 uh, what we have got earlier is not the value uh, including the hopper bottom the value differs so remaining values you know that you know them substitute all the values and you will get the normal pressure intensity as see here ph is the maximum horizontal pressure in the hopper bottom 25.13 kilo newton per meter square next is the normal component due to self weight of the sloping slab uh, find it out that is gamma into t into 1 thickness we have assumed it as 180 mm after that find out wd cos theta that is 3 kilo newton per meter square now find out the total normal pressure that is p n plus this wd cos theta that is you got 16.24 kilo newton per meter square now find out the hoop tension per meter that is half into pdm this is the formula to find it out and do it substitute and you will get the answer like this 30.45 kilo newton after getting hoop tension find out the area of hoop reinforcement this is the formula fst by sigma st 133 meter per uh, mm square use 8 mm diameter hoops at 200 mm center to center in the hopper bottom last step is about edge beams at the junction of cylindrical walls and hopper bottom at the top of the bunker edge beams are 300 mm by 300 mm with four bars of 12 mm diameter are provided to increase the rigidity of the structure the arrangement of the reinforcement is similar to that of bunker the reinforcement is same to that of uh, to that of bunker we refer the bunker, bunker problem you will understand and also here iris theory is also same but only here the pressure formula will change that's it everything is same everything is same there is no table in aries formula for jansen only the table is applicable aries theory there is no a uh, table you have to take the value what you got that's that's all